Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As a part of its offset commitment, French aircraft engine giant Safran will set up a maintenance, repair and overhaul MRO facility for the commercial purpose of aircraft engines utilizing LEED that is leading edge aviation propulsion in India. LEED is a high bypass turbofan engine produced by CFM International which is a 50-50 joint venture between American G Aviation and French Safran aircraft engines manufacturer. The MRO facility said to be based either in Hyderabad or Bengaluru will be apparently announced today when Safran CEO Oliver Anders meets Indian Civil Aviation Minister Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. On March 14th, Safran and HL has also revived a joint venture to run MRO facility in Goa for Shakti and Turbomeka 333 engines used to power all helicopters manufactured by HL. Indian Army, Navy, Air Force and Coast Guard helicopter fleets use over Safran 1000 engines including 250 TM 333s and over 500 Shakti. Partly manufactured by HL, the Shakti is the derivative of Safran Arden 1H1 for high altitude operations. Now, as per reports, the MRO facility will be a state of art facility set up through a 100% Indian subsidiary route that will not only service more than 330 engines used by Indian commercial carriers but also Safran G joint venture engines from other countries in South Asia, West Asia, and Africa. Safran is also investing US dollar 150 million as a foreign direct investment with plans of moving into MRO of military engines to be used in Indian Air Force Rafale and Mirage 2000 fighters in future to push the Aapt Nirbhar Bharat initiative. Apart from MRO facility, the French company has also submitted a proposal to Indian government to co-develop with DRDO's GTRE, a new state-of-art 110 kN thrust engine for India's futuristic MCAR twin-engine fighter jet project. US has a famous regulation called ITAR or the Enhanced Business in Arms Regulation which is designed to limit and regulate the transfer of defense and army technology in order to protect the United States national security and advance United States foreign policy goals. This regulation do not apply to Safran offer. As a result, the proposed Safran GTRE partnership will be able to export military engines to other nations without any restrictions. The Safran deal includes a performance guarantee and transfer of all necessary technology for design, advancement, production and support in addition to building a solid industrial aero engine environment in the country. If the code development process is all cleared this year, Safran is confident that the new 110 kN engine would be certified by 2035. The new 110 kN engine will cost somewhere approximately 5 to 6 billion euros. The engine created for AMCA will probably have many similarities with the propulsion system of the upcoming 6th generation FCAS fighter in Europe for which Safran is a part of multi-project leader which includes also Spain, France and Germany. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.